We're gonna get down, dirty, and nasty. The short body coil. Aren't they so pretty? And let's go ahead and teleport. Just look how big this- Look at this thing. They're taking over the escaping world right now. African? Ooh, what do you think? What do you think? Beautiful school. Mini rings by Mountain Tree. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. We're gonna get down, dirty, and nasty in this video. Over my shoulder, right back there. That's hard to do that through the camera. Right there is my 10 gallon freshwater aquarium in the kitchen. It's a nice little conversational piece. Um, I wanna show some things off to you that's going on in there, right? Check All right, out. this is my 10 gallon freshwater aquarium that sits on my kitchen counter here in the kitchen. It's a nice conversational piece. Uh, everyone who comes to the house absolutely loves it. I have it filled with four beautiful cherry barbs. This is my beautiful male Epistogramma MacMasteri. He's absolutely gorgeous. That is the male, and let me show you the female. The female's right here, as you can see. Uh, a lot smaller than the male, but doesn't have as much color. You can see it has a little bit more yellow. Um, in the coloration than the actual the male. The male has a lot of pretty colors with red, yellow, a little bit of teal as well. Um, I was hoping to breed them. They're still kind of uh, uh, young, but we are hoping that they will breed in this aquarium. Now, the reason why the water is a little cloudy, you can see the particles, is because I actually did a water change, but not only that though, check it out. We supercharged the filter. I don't know if you guys know about this hand on the back filter. I just have them on all my aquariums. This is the uh, Seachem Title by CJ, my favorite. This is the smallest one they make. This is the Title 35. Now, what I did was supercharge the media. The media that I had in this aquarium uh, was about two years old and I had it in there for a long time. So I figured, you know what? I actually want to put in the mountain tree mini rings. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see how many bags I can fit inside uh, the tray, which has a lot of room. So I went ahead and just cleaned everything out. We cleaned the sponge out and then I managed to just get one bag out of four bags. You get four bags in a box. I managed to get one of the bags inside uh, the media basket, which is fine. It fit perfect. I know Mountain Tree Media is gonna take care of my fish and my aquarium, so I'm not even worried about that. I was hoping I can get at least two bags in that sm in the media basket, but obviously I didn't, and it's all good, it's okay. I actually have three bags left over, so it's always good to have extra bio media. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's just, looking at this aquarium, I absolutely love it, but I also wanna do something with it. I wanna. Maybe let's, yeah, you know what? I got an idea. Let's head over to Aquarium and Reptile Depot and maybe spruce up the 10 gallon freshwater aquarium that's in my kitchen. All right, let's go ahead and teleport. I'll see you guys over at Aquarium and Reptile Depot in three, two, one. Whew, just like that, we are here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot in Citrus Heights, 8201. Auburn Boulevard to be exact. Now all of their links will be down in the description below. And um, I think we're gonna pick up something for the 10 gallon freshwater aquarium that's in the kitchen. But first, I gotta show you guys something. I just did a video on this. Look at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. They carry the Higer Auto Aquarium Gravel Cleaner. Product number HG96649 feet. This is the exact same one that I did a video on. Actually, their box looks a lot better than my box. I'm jealous. But there's a 33 foot here and the 49 foot. So they have both sizes. And feel free to check out the video. I'll put a card up above. Click that card and go check out the specs and how you use this awesome product by Hyger. Now we can't go anywhere without checking out the Fluval Sienna Aquarium with the short body koi in here. Look at right there, they got the short body Mayan butterfly koi. They got the black and white and the black and yellow. I picked up a couple of these and have them in Tiki Falls. I have yet to find the black and white one. Right now, I've only seen the black and yellow one in Tiki Falls, so I hope that that black and white one is doing okay. But as you can see, they have an aquarium full of these short body beautiful butterfly Mayan koi from Malaysia. Look at them, so pretty. I know it just seems like lately we've been sprucing up a lot of the aquariums with some new fish and new stock. So there's just so much to choose from. Let me show you what I'm looking at. This is the wall 
a freshwater fish. It goes all the way down to the back corner. So we have a lot to look at. Let's go check it out. God, these are so pretty. I think they're a type of barb. Look at them. Aren't they so pretty? I don't think I've ever seen this type of barb. I think it's a barb. I don't know. If you guys know what this fish is, comment down below. But they are so pretty. Look at the shimmery silver with the little like reddish pink like line going through their bodies. Look how pretty these are, man. Oh, a school of these, oh, maybe in the 75 gallon tank, would look awesome. Now the 75 gallon tank I'm talking about is my archer fish aquarium. Maybe we get a school of these for that. Now here's three giants in this aquarium. They're not giants right now, but these fish have the potential to get really, really big. So right off the bat, we have this beautiful African big eye perch. You can see the big eyes, right? You see them? <laughs> yeah, there's no denying that. And then right behind him is a beautiful giant red tail gourami. And then right up here, is one of my favorite types of fish is the flag tail. I love the flag tail, hence the name flag tail. Look at the tail, looks like a finish line flag. Uh, but these three fish here, they get really, really big. They're in a smaller tank right now because they're actually small. We've got a nice albino silver arowana. It's beautiful colors, look at it. Not bad, huh? This bad boy is going for 279 bucks, but it is a pretty, albino silver arowana. I love the colors in it. It's got a nice little pinkish pattern in it. If you look really good, you can see the little highlights of pink slash red in the tail, in the fins. It's pretty, huh? Look how graceful. The dragonfish, better known as. So cool. Mark my words, I will get one of these one day. I promise you guys. If you're interested in a leperinus, they have a small one here. Well, small meaning about three inches. Yeah, these guys can hold their own with an aggressive tank. I have one for proof. It's in my highly aggressive six-foot aquarium in the garage in Tiki Lounge, and it is holding its own with some really, really aggressive fish. I mean, look at it. It's in the aquarium with a flower horn. Are you kidding me? Uh, what is this, a bicher in here? Uh, catfish? What kind of catfish is that? Is that a lima? Yeah, that's a lima shovel nose catfish. These are aggressive fish, and then you have a beautiful fire eel. I mean, come on. This thing right here can hold its own, the Leperinus. Uh, they look small, but they get up to about nine to 10 inches, so just be aware of the size. Make sure you have enough space. One of my favorite aquariums, this monster Red Sea freshwater aquarium with some giants. Speaking of giants, we got a beautiful giant garami that's just hanging out, a huge albino Oscar. We have giant severums. Everything in here is just giant, giant, giant. Now, my favorite fish in this aquarium is this leperinus look how big this is a full-size adult leperinus it's probably about 10 i would say 9 to 10 inches i mean you can see how big it is compared to this monster red tail catfish look at this thing so you can see the size difference it's not as big obviously but this thing is a monster i can't believe i have one of these and it's little right now it's probably about three to four inches but it's definitely gonna get some size. And then, of course, you got this big, beautiful Giardini Arowana cruising around. He's a monster, too. Beautiful colors, too. It's got like this beautiful pattern of peach, but look at him. Yeah, he knows he's the king of the castle, for sure. Look at, see those beautiful markings? It's so pretty, though. It's my, one of my favorite tanks here. Aquarium of Reptile Depot's on fire right now. Check out the peacock bass. Ooh, wee with an, right there, Australian Giardini. Let's see if we can get a better look. There we go. What kind of peacock bass are these though, guys? I need your help. Calberry? Nah. I don't know. Cementus? I'm not sure exactly, but beautiful peacock bass. Ooh, you don't get to see these very often. These are chocolate cichlids. So pretty. Man, I think a chocolate cichlid would be okay in the six foot aquarium. Gosh, I don't know. I'm, I'm here looking for the 10 gallon fresh water and every single fish I keep looking at, I, I want to put it in my, you know, tiki lounge, my 75 gallon tanks, my six foot aquarium tank. Ooh, check out these right here. Boom. We're going to go straight down here. Ooh, one of my favorite fish of all times, the tiger shovel nose catfish. This is another bucket list fish of mine. Oh, look at them. They get really big. You got to have a real big tank for these guys. 
Oh my gosh, man. Yeah, one day, guys. One day I'll get one of these too. They're on my list. Oh, super cool. They got the gold Petrocola Cynodonis catfish. That's what these are right here. These are actually really cool. I love me some Cynodonis catfish. I do have one in the Oscar Army Aquarium in Tiki Lounge, uh, but they're in here with the Sweetheart Parrot Cichlids. The reason why they call them Sweethearts is their body looks like a heart. You see it? Look it, look it, it's got a heart shape. And they call them the Sweetheart Parrot Cichlids. Pretty cool. Oh, another Leporinus is in here too, holding its own. Oh my gosh, with a school of green terrors. <laughs> Talking about aggressive aquarium. Jeez Louise, I told you guys, these Leporinus, you see how fast it was? Yeah, nothing's messing with this guy. This guy's gonna be a tank boss, you see him? He's not messing around, man. Oh, I wanna show you guys this for aquascaping. I absolutely love these bonsai trees. I believe they're from UNS. Check it out though. Look at this thing. It's so pretty, look at it. And there's so many ways that you can decorate this by putting fresh plants. You can put a Nubius Nana Petite all up in here and it'll grow out through the branches and make it look like a little mini bonsai tree. This would be a great scape. Look at, they have a, a smaller size tree right here. Look at the size comparison. It's a little bit smaller. Gosh, this would look so cool in a scape. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Man, this is really cool looking. Hey, you can just decorate this with all type, different types of plants at the top. And it's super rigid, look at that. You can just tuck in the plants without using any type of glue and make this look like a really cool bonsai tree. Look at, they even have one that looks like a Christmas tree. Look at this, super cool. And how much is this going for? Look at that, what is it, 30 bucks? Ah, 30 bucks and you can have a really cool looking bonsai tree in your aquarium? Come on. That's awesome. And then they have some really big ones up top. So it looks like they got three different sizes, large, medium, and a small. All right, so I just showed you guys the little bonsai tree that UNS makes, Ultim Nature Systems. Uh, they're taking over the scaping world right now. Now, a lot of you guys in the hobby have heard of Dragon Stone. It's a very popular stone. Looks really cool and excellent for aquascaping your aquariums. But UNS has done it again with Dragon Wood. Check it out. This is Dragon Wood. It looks like Dragon Stone but it's actual wood. Now this piece right here, let me give you an example why this is so cool. Look at all the nooks and crannies it has in it. You can stick this in your substrate just like this, or just like this. And then you can put your plants inside all these holes without using any glue, and they can just grow right into the wood. It would make it look so cool. I actually wanna get a small piece of this and maybe put it in a 10 gallon tank like this in the background. Oh, this would be really cool. I might get one of these guys and test it out. And maybe we'll get some plants and stick it inside there. Ooh, what do you think? What do you think? Should I, should I? How much is this thing? 10 bucks, not bad, because this wood has so much character. I love it, I might put this one on the side. Gosh, look how pretty this aquarium turned out. They made it into a sorority betta aquarium. So you have one female betta there hanging out, one there in the corner hanging out. You got another one down over here hanging out. They're so pretty though. I love it. I love a nice sorority betta aquarium. You can see the ground cover hasn't grown in quite yet, but it's actually getting better. Yeah, so it's got uh, CO2 going on in this aquarium, so that's gonna make this carpet just grow. It looks like a super red uh, pleco right there, sucking away, but yeah, this aquarium is gonna look nice. Remember I talked about dragon wood? Check it out, this is dragon stone. Doesn't it look cool? That's why it's so popular uh, in the aquarium hobby because of the aquascape it provides. Look at that. It almost makes like ledges, you know? You can kind of stick it in at an angle and bury it and make it look like a, I don't know, like Grand Canyon ledges. Oh man, I wonder what that is right there. What kind of fish, is that a pleco of some sort? I gotta ask the boys what that is. Oh, I never take the time to show off the discus collection that they have here. If you guys are into discus, they have a nice variety of discus. They're not big, they're smaller, so they're cheaper, and you can grow them out, but they are super healthy, uh, super nice. And then also, this is their whole shrimp collection. If you guys are into shrimp, look it, they have all the shrimp here. So they have blue velvet shrimp, I mean, they have gold, black, yellow fire shrimp in here. In this aquarium here, they have a mono shrimp, but they also have red fire shrimp. Uh, what else do they have? Uh, they got blue jelly shrimp too as well. So you can kind of see all the different varieties of shrimp. And in this aquarium here, it's so colorful in there. You got green jade shrimp, you got orange sun-kissed shrimp. 
all the varieties of shrimp. These are all for, all for my shrimp heads out there. I know there's a lot of people out there that collect freshwater shrimp. Yellow, sakura shrimp. I mean, the list goes on and on. So feel free to collect your shrimp when you get here. So I've seen some things that I want for the 10 gallon freshwater aquarium that's in the kitchen. And um, I think I'm gonna pick something up for the 75 gallon tank in Tiki Lounge that's inside the garage. So um, let's take a trip back home, okay? I'm gonna pick up the goods. I'm gonna share them with you all in this video. There's no part one, part two, none of that, all right? So I'm gonna teleport back home and I'll see you guys in Tiki Lounge. Three, two, one. Whew, just like that, we are back home in Tiki Lounge. Now behind me, the Volcano Scape Aquarium, but that isn't the priority aquarium in this video, but below it is the South American Asia Aquarium, which I have my freshwater, clouded, archer fish, some angel fish, and these. Check this out, you guys ready? Without further ado, the newest addition to Tiki Lounge. There you go, my ohana, we got a herd, a pack, a beautiful school of four geo vegas yes we are taking our chances again on the geo vegas this time it's a different species this is the sveni which is a beautiful beautiful geo vegas uh said to be the most colorful and beautiful uh geo vegas out of all the geos so i'm looking forward to seeing these guys i mean just flourish you can see the colors that they pack they have a green a turquoise a red and these are really nice sizes see if i can zoom up on one look at the colors when that light hits it ooh wee these guys are still juvenile too they're not even full grown and they don't get very big too they're not going to get huge like some of the geo vegas so four to five is a perfect little school um for these guys geo vegas which means earth eater obviously they eat the earth They'll, you'll find them at the bottom of your aquarium sifting through the substrate uh the sand it, it's what they do they sift through your sand or substrate looking for food and they're a really really good bottom there you go there you go do your thing they're a really good bottom uh feeder and cleaner of your aquarium so food that gets down inside the gravel or sand they will definitely sift through it and clean the bottom of your aquarium so it's really nice to have geo vegas in an aquarium but they do love sinking pellets but they are going to look for any food that happens to drop down inside the cracks and crevices like you can see we have sand here and then we have gravel on this side uh, they prefer a sandy bottom so you can already see they dug like a little trench down in this corner here already tell me what you think down in the comments guys i i just had to pull the trigger and get these guys and there you have it my ohana we have four beautiful geo vegas veni inside the 75 gallon aquarium now the reason why i call it the asia south american aquarium is because the clouded archer fish are from Asia. They come from freshwater streams and rivers in Asia. So I call it the South American Asia Aquarium. And it seems like everybody is getting along just fine. So with that being said, the video doesn't stop here. Let's head over into the house, um, to the kitchen where the 10 gallon freshwater aquarium sits. And we have some goodies inside that aquarium too. So let's head into the house. Go right, my ohana. So here is my 10 gallon aquarium and look at what we have. We have a blue eyed lemon bushy nose pleco. A little guy, it's a little baby. Um, they won't get very big though. They'll get as big as maybe four to five inches, but I thought it would be a nice little accent piece. Plus it'll take care of all the algae that's you know, been building up in this uh, little aquarium. He's going to work. He absolutely loves his new home and his tank mates love him too. So we got my uh, beautiful uh, Epistogramma McMaster eyes. If you're looking really good though, you can see he's got blue eyes. It may be hard to tell in the video. Beautiful blue eyes. He's not like a common pleco. So I love these really unique, different types of plecos. Being that it's a lemon, blue-eyed lemon, uh, bushy nose pleco makes it even that much sweeter. But like I said, his tank mate, his tank mates, the Epistogramma Mac Masterize, uh, they're doing fine with them. You know, I have a beautiful male right here as the male, and then I have a female that's being chased by him. I think they're getting ready to breed in the aquarium, but yeah, he's doing good. He absolutely loves his new home. And then of course, you know, I had to get that dragon wood. It was bugging me. I looked at it and I fell in love with the dragon wood. I thought it'd be a great little accent piece. Um, I bought the dragon wood, everything from Aquarium Reptile Depot. We also got this bouquet of Java fern is what we got. And Java fern doesn't need a substrate. You can actually put it on rocks or wood. You can glue it to it 
and it will stick and grow that way. It doesn't need to be buried in substrate. So like I said, you have all these holes in the dragon wood. And what we're basically going to do is take each little bouquet, which we managed to get four out of that little bunch that we got and stuff them in the holes. The holes were perfect size for them, holds it in place. The plants will be able to thrive and grow without any substrate. They're being held by the holes of the wood. So I took my time and strategically placed it in certain holes that I thought it would look good. And, you know, of course, going back and forth with the wood, deciding on which way I wanted to um, face it and, and whatnot to show it off. But uh, yeah, I mean, with so many holes in the wood, you can take your time and uh, take it out and redo it and just find what works for you. So I figured this little uh, scape here with the dragon wood would work for me. So this is what I went with. I like the way it looks. And then I just set it inside the aquarium to the far left side of the aquarium here, as you can see it. And it looks really nice. Look at it. It just blends in. I like the way it looks next to the rock and the different, you know, the Java fern is a different colored leaf than what I have in there. I have a uh, Nubius Nana Petite in there as well as some Crips, but you can see my little Pleco is doing great. Now the Pleco, once it starts to get to its adult stage, I'll probably transfer it over to the South American Aquarium, the 75 gallon aquarium that we put the Geo Vegas in. Um, so yeah, this little scape here, 10 gallon, uh, is a nice little conversational piece. We're always in the kitchen. When we have friends over or family, we're always talking in here. So it's a nice little aquarium. Okay, so let's do a little recap. We supercharged the 10 gallon aquariums filter with mini rings by Mountain Tree. Then we headed over to Aquarium Reptile Depot where we checked out a lot of their freshwater stuff. We picked up some dragon wood along with some Java fern. We created this beautiful scaping piece to add to the aquarium. Then we also got a blue-eyed lemon, bushy nose pleco, and then we also got four Geo Vegas to add to the 75 gallon tank in Tiki Lounge. So we did a bunch. Big shout out to Aquarium Reptile Depot. If you guys are interested in anything that you saw there, go check out their online store, all right? It is depotpet.shop. All of their links will be down in the description below, as well as Mountain Tree. Of course, if you guys are interested in the best biofiltration media, in the hobby, go check out Mountain Tree, okay? I'll have their links down in the description below. So they are slowly making their way into the United States. They're very popular in Europe, the UK area, uh, but they are making their way here in the United States. So be patient, they do have a carrier here in the United States. So go ahead and email them if you're interested in any of their filter media or any of Mountain Tree's products. Take care, my Hana. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love and aloha. I know, fake a pay, I